Back again. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> Oh god, that's like two shots already. She's you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Yeah. Really? I can imagine. Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Oh. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Well, we've pretty much done everything. I might have overdone it with the drink a little bit. It doesn't say it's Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Affect the story, so... Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speaking of which... Speak of the devil. <laughs> I could write this script. How are you I'm feeling? Joking. Not great. Not awful. What? I got Alex covering for you. For real? Yeah. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Not to mention, you can sure hold your liquor. <laughs> you can't keep an injured man. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. That was a weird. That was a weird clash. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Official two hour warning. Time to be running will be detecting changes in two hours. If you're a mod danger zone, you must begin clearing out now. Oh god. Isn't that isn't that kid going in that direction? Oh my Haven god. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. I'm not liking the sound of that. Now I'm really starting to regret not telling Gabe about that kid. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Uh. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obviously, she, she never told him about I, whatever it was. Did you rehearse that move? <laughs> Do you have a cooler under there? Beer. I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just... Never know. Hmm. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, 
Guess I never realized. I'm a crazy Aww. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. I mean, yeah. On your own. Some people can have a tendency to lash out as fine. well, but I think with Alex, it's it's a different. It's you know, when I pulled you off the Mac, and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart, like you've done it before. Yeah. Kids in foster care fight a lot. Yeah. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. We got the impression from the letters and stuff we read too. I can tell I there's something going on. Maybe with you. she's the issues. Something troubling you. She, he was, um, they mentioned in the beginning. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Huh. Interesting. Well, if you're going to tell anyone, let's do it. I put the wrong one. Shit. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry, or sad, or afraid, I feel it too. Huh. And then I lose control. Yeah, so it's the intense feeling she struggled with. For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. Huh. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Huh. Did Riley tell you that? I don't think she did. Mac did, didn't. No, I just feel it, yeah. Because, obviously, I didn't obviously go do it, but... No. No one told me that. I just feel it. Yeah. I didn't want to take him off, so I missed his, uh, I missed his aura thing. But... Can you see sure, this? it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Well, he's not exactly freaking out about it. Almost like he believes it. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? <laughs> you need more beer. <laughs> It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Right. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. No one does? Did she tell people before then? So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. Pretty much. You're like going inside their heart. 
I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Everyone in this series does, and it's kind of like the thing. You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... Totally believe believes it. I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence. But this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. He, he totally believes her. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Totally believes her. I kind of thought he would. Like I said, if you weren't tell anyone, it would be family or maybe your best friend in Max and Chloe's case. So. When were you going to tell me about the guitar? <laughs> oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? Yeah, it kind of was. <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Huh? Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Hmm. Huh? Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Oh. Is Ethan up here? I was surprised. No. He was heading home. Oh, he was, yeah. I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Oh, no. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. God damn it. <sighs> oh, fuck. I fucked up. Ah, uh, see, this is the bad thing when you've never played a game before. <laughs> you don't know what the best choices are. In in hindsight, that's the way these games are really meant to be played. I just thought Gabe was probably getting like Tally and it was gonna start a fight. And either way, you're causing trouble. It just depends on who for. Something tells me he probably would have gone there anyway. He would kind of fixated on doing whatever, so I guess it probably Ethan? didn't matter, actually. Ethan! Fuck. Come on, pick up, pick up. Uh, yeah, Typhoon, that was in the um, thing earlier. Alex! This way. I saw it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? <laughs> In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Mm. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. 
Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Mm. I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Why is he so awesome? Yeah, still, though. I'm gonna go take a here, look you're my brother. Let me know if you spot any sign of me. Your real personal business sure. and something tells me this is probably gonna happen anyway, and he was probably that? gonna go, Well, you're not my dad. How was so. Ethan planning to get into the mine? Landed a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Huh. Excited to announce we have a new district lantern staff. So Alex is like immediately on. But you could say Stand to lay off the sauce a bit. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Dear Alex, it was very much a pleasure meeting you this evening. Very welcoming home here. Oh, Ducky! Everyone's just hijacking Alex's number. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Even ones like Max. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yup. Uh, zombie? What? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? <laughs> hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? I think these. I've just noticed something. These beer bottles are the same bottles. No, we're not. I was gonna say that from the first game, but I don't think they are now. You don't realize until green. you're up close. But mining equipment is super murdery. <laughs> the real monster here is underage drinking. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's great. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. <laughs> Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Hmm. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. I feel huh. bad not telling him now. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Huh. Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. Huh? I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. Just got a monster hunter. <laughs> there. 
The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Uh, right. So that's the zombie, I'm guessing. Like the zombie over here. I think. So if the zombie is here, then... It's gotta be some trail, right? If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. Oh wait, um... There's something... Point blaming anyone. We just gotta find him fast. Gabe's on the gate. I should see if I can make sense of the comic. It's gotta be that gate. Trying to see the end here, unless. I think Thaner went a different way. Hey. Let's get another gate then. This one. There's no trail in it. Open gate. Oh wait, oh wait, I see it. See those cracks on the floor? Is there something behind it? Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh man... Must have crawled through here. So there must be something you can crawl to. And because Alex is the na native small person, she's like probably the only one who could do it. Side door back there? I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> oh gosh, dang it! I'm gonna I'm gonna regret not telling him. I I, I feel bad. I'm really sure to. You figured that out from a comic book. I was stupid. I feel so dumb. I mean, if it's a smart kid, but then they started to, about talking like strikes and things or uh, blasts. I'm gonna try to get the now. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ugh. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? A corpse with cloud serpent after crossing to the ceiling. Stairs. Have I got some good news for you? Nah. What? Dream conversation you swap spaces between choices and objects. Go with red. It's always red. Okay. Dang. Back to the drawing board. 